In this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know as a DaVinci Resolve beginner so that you become more comfortable in the software and can start editing your own professional videos. Now, if you haven't got DaVinci Resolve yet, head on over to the Blackmagic website and download the free version. I'll leave a link in the description below. There is a paid version for about $300, but the free version is more than enough you need if you're just starting out editing. You might see that I'm using the studio version of Resolve, but don't worry, I'm only using the free features inside, so you can follow along if you have the free version. The first thing you will see when you open Resolve is the project manager window. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project and give it a name and press create. That will bring us into DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve has seven different workspaces that allow you to work on different aspects of your video. So let's quickly go over them. And because this is a beginner tutorial, we're not gonna do a deep dive on each of them. We're mainly just gonna focus on the edit workspace. Okay, so starting from the left, we have our media workspace. This is where we organize any footage, audio, or other assets that we wanna work on in DaVinci Resolve. Next, we have the cut workspace. This workspace is designed for quickly putting together edits. We have the edit workspace. This is where we're gonna spend the most of our time in this tutorial, and we'll get back to that in a minute. In the Fusion workspace, you can work on visual effects. We have our color workspace, where you can focus on color correction and color grading. The Fairlight workspace for editing and mastering audio, and the Deliver workspace, where you would export your edit. Let's import some media by going over to our media workspace. One thing I do, and I recommend that you do as well, is keep your media pool window as clean as you can with bin folders. Just so you know where all your footage is sitting and it doesn't become a complete mess as your projects start to get larger and larger. So I'm gonna create a cam A bin, a cam B bin, and a music bin for my files. And I'm just gonna drag them in here. Next, let's hop into the edit workspace where we can start working on our video edit. I'm gonna select my A-roll talking head clip and drag it onto the timeline. We can zoom in or out of our timeline by going over to the slider here and adjusting it or using the plus and minus button on our keyboard. We can grab the playhead and scrub over our clip to check it out. And we can hit spacebar to play the timeline. Here you can see the blue layer is the video layer and the green layer is the audio. And we can also adjust the height of our tracks by simply clicking and dragging them out. I can click and drag my talking head clip and move it around the timeline. And currently you will notice that the audio is linked to the video clip, which is indicated by this symbol. If I uncheck this symbol, I'm able to move the audio or video clip independently of each other. I would be cautious with this if you're moving dialogue clips because you don't want them going out of sync. So I'm gonna hit Command Z or Control Z on Windows on the keyboard, which is a shortcut in Resolve for undo. If we want to trim part of a clip, we can hover our mouse over the end of the clip and drag that to the left. If you want to increase the volume of your audio, you can hover over this little line here and drag that up. If you'd like to fade your audio in or out, you'll see here this little white marker. You can click on that and drag it across. Now say if this section is no good and we want to remove it, we can make a cut at this specific point. So go and select the blade tool here and make a cut on the part that you want to remove. Then we can flick back to our selection tool and we can either just drag our footage over the top of this to remove it or click the selected area and hit delete. Now let's add some B-roll. We can come across to our cam B here and we can hover our mouse over the thumbnails to preview our shots in the preview window. And if we want to make a selection to a specific part of our shot to use, we can scrub across to where we want to start, hit I on your keyboard for in, scrub across to where you want to finish and hit O on your keyboard for out. And now there are three ways of dragging this into your timeline. We can simply click and drag. And as you can see on our timeline, we have the, both the video and audio layer. We only want to import the video layer, so we're gonna control Z that. And you'll see these two icons down the bottom here. If we just drag this audio one, we would only import the audio channel. If we drag this video one, we would only import the video channel. And that's what we want to do. So now you can see our B-roll shot is in our timeline, but it is not filling out our shot. To adjust the sizing and scaling of your images, 
we can come across to the inspector tab here on the right. If you can't see it, just toggle it with this toggle icon up the top here. And all we want to do is increase the size of the shot. So we're going to come across to our zoom and click and drag it up until it is fully in frame. Okay, so we have our dialogue and we have our B-roll shots laid onto our timeline. You can see we've got a lot of dead space at the start of our timeline. If we want to get rid of that, we can simply click on the area and it will be highlighted and we can hit delete and that will butt up our first shot to the start of our timeline. Okay, so we've got our dialogue, we've got our B-roll in our timeline. Last thing we want to add is our audio track. So we can come up here to our media pool and say if I didn't want to include this audio track, you can also import files directly into the media pool on your edit tab. So I can drag and drop this straight into my media pool. And I'm going to drag this audio track underneath our, my dialogue level and butt it up to the start of my timeline. Now let's say I wanted to start my audio at this beat here. I'm just going to click and drag my audio clip file across to the start and drag it across to begin my timeline. Now we want it to end here, so we're going to get the blade tool and cut at the very end. Go back to the select tool and delete the rest of that audio. Now because I'm not going to dive into the Fairlight panel too much, because this is a beginner tutorial, I'm going to show you a basic way just to do some audio balancing. We can come across to our mixer tab up here and select that. And you'll see here we have three faders. The first one is for audio channel one. This is audio channel two and this is our master. A good rule of thumb is to aim to have our master at around negative 10 dB. So if I hit play now, we can see that my music track is very loud. So we're going to pull this right back so it's sitting nicely underneath the dialogue level. Let's say we want to duplicate a clip on our timeline to a different position. All we need to do is come and select our clip, hit Command C or Control C, move the playhead to where we want the clip to be pasted and hit Command V or Control V. Let's say for this B-roll shot we wanted to have it displaying small next to the talking head. So we can come down here and adjust the scale. And maybe we just want the middle of this cassette player showing so we can adjust our crop by sliding our crop sliders. And now we can adjust the position of our clip by moving the position sliders to where we want to position it. All right, let's look at some transitions and text. We'll come across to our effects window on the left here. If you can't see it, just toggle this effects button up the top. Come down under toolbox and choose video transitions. And we're just gonna use a simple cross dissolve. You can preview this effect just by scrubbing your mouse left and right. And if we want to use it, just click and drag it onto our clip. If I zoom in here, this white box demonstrates the length of the effect. We can adjust this by clicking and dragging it out or in. And so now we can look at our cross dissolve from our A cam to our B-roll shot. So we can also choose different titles here. So I'll click on this title effect, drag it into my video three track. You can change the text as well as the font, the color, the size, and so on. If you want to extend the duration of the text, you can do that by simply dragging it out. There are a ton of different title styles to use, so have a scroll through and select the one you like most. Now when you're working with an edit that has both dialogue and music, you'll want to adjust the volume of the music in areas that the dialogue will be heard. I've adjusted our timeline a little bit where there's no dialogue here. So the music can be loud here, but then when the dialogue is speaking, we want it to be quieter. So we're gonna select our music layer. We're gonna move our playhead to where we wanna set our first keyframe. And now we're gonna come across to the inspector window next to volume and hit this keyframe button. What this does is tells Resolve at this particular point on your timeline, this is how loud the audio is gonna be. So if we scrub back a few frames and move this volume down, you can see by our waveform here that this has all gotten quieter because at this other keyframe, the volume is set to negative 6.72. So we can do this on the other side as well. Set that keyframe there, scrub forward, 
and lower the volume again. This way when the dialogue is speaking the music is quieter and then when there is no dialogue it comes to the forefront. For the sake of this tutorial we're going to be skipping the fusion, color and fairlight tabs. These are more advanced tools which I will be doing tutorial videos on. So when you're ready to export your video we can create our in and out points of what we want exported. So we can drag our playhead to the start and select I for in, drag our playhead to the end and select O for out and then head to the deliver tab. And so here we have the deliver tab. We can see up the top there are a range of presets. They have YouTube presets, Vimeo presets, TikTok presets, or if you want to export with your own settings, you can fill them out below. Here we name our file. I'm just going to call it my video. Under location, we choose where we want to save it on our computer. We can choose our format, our codec, our resolution. If we want to export 4K, 1080, that's where we choose it. If you want to keep things simple, I recommend just clicking the H.264 master. Now we can hit add to render queue and our job will populate in the render queue to the right. And now we can just hit render all. I hope this video has helped you get a grasp on the fundamentals of DaVinci Resolve. And now you can start exporting your own videos. Check out the channel for more specific in-depth video tutorials to help you become a better video editor.